BOD and COD. What are they all about? Chemical oxygen demand, or COD, tells us the size of the total organic pollution. The biological oxygen demand, or BOD, on the other hand, tells which part of it can actually be removed in the treatment plant. Now, is a low BOD value better than a high one? No, certainly not. A BOD value alone, whether it is high or low, tells us nothing. A BOD value only becomes relevant when we relate it to the total pollution of the COD. It is in this relation that we see how efficiently the treatment plant can handle the incoming pollution. And to find this relation, we simply divide the BOD by the COD. We call this the BOD to COD ratio. And it informs us how much of the food the bacteria in the biological treatment plant can actually digest. A low BOD value here is quite problematic, as the example will show you. A BOD of 200 is divided by a COD of 1000 and the ratio is 0.2. And this means that the bacteria can only handle 20% of all the pollutant. In other words, 80% of the pollution remains untreated. In extreme cases, a low BOD means that the bacteria have actually died from food poisoning. The BOD value is low simply because the bacteria no longer breathe. In this example, it's the opposite. At the ratio of 0.8, we see that the bacteria have been able to handle 80% of the food offered to them without feeling bad. In this class we find a lot of pollutant A. It seems to have a very high COD. In this class we find much less of the same pollutant it has a much lower COD. In this class, that's a different pollutant altogether. Let's call it pollutant B. It seems rather concentrated, a very high COD too. This stuff is terribly sweet and I can only take a very small sip of it. That's enough. Hmm. That's the same stuff, but much less sweet. I think it's okay. Low COD and a high BOD. That's what I want. But this is best. Cheers to clean water.